Hey, what's up fam? Welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day and today it's time to talk about those five things. You know what I'm talking about, five things that'll make you have a better experience as a flanker, five immediate tips and tricks to let you become the flanker you want to be. Now before we start, I might do this with all of the classes as always with a lot of these series, so make sure you let me know what you like about this video in the comment section below. If you learned something, let me know what you learned, and if you think you can add something else, Hit me up with that too. Without further ado, let's get started. Number one, timing. The truth is a lot of great flankers do the same things, but what separates the best from the worst is when they do those things. What a lot of flankers don't realize is that taking advantage of people while they're low or focused on something else can not only give you the breathing room you need to execute the kill, but also allow you a little bit more of a safer entrance, which being a low health pool class can be difficult to find at times. I mean, put yourself in their shoes. When you immediately start a fight, you're facing down a Victor, a Tyra, maybe you're shooting a tank and he's got a little bit of damage on you, you're thinking about retreat, retreating, that's the last time you want an Androxus to show up in your face. So be that Androxus and show up in their face. That's one way to become an immediately better flanker. Number two, know your counters. Understanding the key things that your flanker does well and who they do it well against especially will make sure you have better games overall. For instance, right now Drogos is flying all dandy in the sky. Then comes the sky. Not as dangerous. But then comes in Androxus and that whole story changes. Drogo starts pooping his pants and running for the hills. Androxus is a very good counter to Drogo. So if you're looking at which flanker I should play, having these matchups, knowing which ones are in your favor, can mean that you're already setting yourself up to win before the game begins. Eevee can do well against Kinesa. Androxus probably a better pick into a Drogos because Eevee has a hard time going into the anti air, whereas Androxus's hit scan revolver is perfect for getting that dragon out of the sky. You're already on the way to become a better flanker. Oh, Death Killer 100%. Join the storm. Not even. Are you are you killing death 100% of the time? I don't I don't Good on you, dog. Good on you. Number 3. 3. You need to pick the right items. Normal flankers be like, "All right, time to get this Lex game started. Looks like I'll take uh Nimble to start out. Good investment in uh, early game credits. <laughs> I'll be able to chase anybody down. Looks like then we'll move on to Illuminate. Don't want to mess with any stealth just in case. Shaolin, you know, the very that stealth for 2 seconds. That I got to warn you. That's that can get you. <laughs> that can really get you. Brother, just buy Cauterize. Or Wrecker. Or just just do it. Just just do it. One of the worst things as a flank you can do is to waste credits on things that won't help you kill your target. And a lot of people do this. They'll pick up Nimble, they'll pick up Veteran. Sometimes they'll even go into, uh, I don't know, Deft Hands for no reason when they have plenty of attack speed, plenty of reload speed, and all they really need to do is get cauterized and shut down the burst healing that's happening to the targets they're trying to kill. It's like, bruh, the reason you are not getting kills is not because you move 10% slower. You need to stop this heal party happening on the person you're trying to kill in the heal party call the cops call lex i don't care who you gotta call stop them getting healed and you can kill them a lot faster trust me when you buy the right items you make your job as a flanker easier and admittedly you got one of the harder jobs in the game you got to win the 1v1 duels the last thing you want is anyone getting an advantage over you by healing. So, Cauterize, great first choice. Wrecker could be a decent choice too. Even Haven or Blast Shields can help you in winning your duels. Life Rip, also a decent choice to give you the extra life regeneration back on your weapon shots so that you might be able to outlast a shot where normally you would have died. I have never done these videos, so I don't know how they're going. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, follow me at something, subscribe to something, and make sure to check me out somewhere. Was that not good? Should I should I do the plug again? Was that vague? I don't get it. Number four, I hate to say it, you gotta aim. Yeah, dog. Aiming is important, especially as a flanker. You gotta practice your skills shooting with the left mouse button. And if you don't, it's okay, but you probably won't make it to top tier unless you put in the work. Now, the good thing is all it does take is practice. And one of the best ways to practice is to know your settings. That means just setting up your mouse DPI, setting up your in-game controls, and going through the process of knowing what you play at. Whether your mouse DPI leaves you at 800 or 1000 or 500, whether you even know what DPI means and have to go look it up at the point of watching this video. And maybe you don't even know what your control setting sensitivity is in-game. Finding those two knobs out allow you to have a consistent way to know 
what your aim is like, what speeds you aim like, and how you feel comfortable. Once you do that, it's just a matter of repetition and it becomes muscle memory. It's like shooting free throws, baby. You just one after another, one after another, but you gotta stay in the lab. And that's why it's important as a flanker, taking that job upon yourself to finish off kills and to help snowball the fight for your team, you need to be in a position to make sure you're hitting your shots. A lot of people want very quick tricks and they want things that'll happen that'll just say, hey, I watched this video and now I'm top tier like Stolze or Sun Commander or Perdo or something like that. It, it just doesn't happen that way, guys. One of the basic things, I'd be doing a disservice to you all saying that practicing aiming uh, is not a way to be a better and top tier flanker. But again, encouraging you all to get your settings right, make sure you're at a consistent level so you don't keep throwing away progress. One day you play great, you don't know what settings you're at, the next day you play horribly and your settings are all different and you can't ever get a rhythm. That's the biggest thing. Get a rhythm, get your games in every day, uh, play the certain characters over and over again every day so that you're always progressing to the next level. We're coming to an end, my people. Let me tell you one thing. If you guys like the video, you want to support me, you liked, you subscribed, or maybe you haven't done that before, that's a great way to do it. If you also want to check out audibletrial.com, best thing I've ever done in my life. You get a free audiobook, and you get to join me in the world of experiencing your stories through audio. Let me tell you something. Since it's free, no harm in trying. Go ahead and do it. Every single one who signs up means a lot to the channel. Appreciate it, guys, and uh, thank you. Was that an obvious plug? That was up. That that's obvious that I wanted him to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that's that was the point. Actually, I did try to be obvious. Sorry, I'm just talking to my uh, my producer over there. I have a producer. I do. He's real. He's in the corner of my room. You don't believe me? Well, you're just fat. Hmm. Number five. You can have a solo, but you're not. A solo artist. Last time I saw Sky hold down a point by herself in front of a Makoa and a Fernando was never. I'm sorry, just doesn't happen. You are part of a group, a unit, and when you realize that and welcome that, you become a much better player. Even just today, a pro player was saying that two players with mechanically the same skill as another player were, in his eyes, a lot better. The reason being is not because they played that champion any differently when it came down to hitting headshots or ulting at the right time, it was that they played with their team and they were aware of their team much more than this other player. There are some subtle nuances to what I'm saying, but most of all, it relates to you understanding as a flanker that being connected to what your team's goals are will help you in the long run as well. You don't have a big health pool to survive on the point by yourself. You can't 1v4 people. So you have to be in tune with what your team is doing, what your team wants, and maybe some of those objectives. For instance, if Makoa hooks uh, Fernando, maybe that gives you an opening as to when you can attack their backline damage dealer, since the Fernando can't turn around and shield them anymore. At the end of the day, Paladins is a team shooter. And when everybody works together to achieve the same goals, you will, in your own specific role, have a lot more success. I think you'll have a lot more fun too. A great flanker can carry a game, but just remember that it doesn't always have to be that way. You're not always alone. In fact, you never really are. And as long as you remember that, you'll probably enjoy your games more and your life more in general. And hopefully you get some more flank kills, although I'm not really sure what a flank kill is. I mean, I know I work for the company, but I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's been a fun video and it's something different. I told you guys I was trying out some new content. If you guys like what you're seeing, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for more of these. Also, if you did like this and want me to cover another topic, let me know and uh, we can keep it rolling. If you do sign up for Audible, let me know in the comments. You all are the heroes, y'all the real thugs and G's here at Rain Day Gaming. I really appreciate it if you all do. And as always, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you all next time.